Now please welcome Yoda Wee. Hi, I'm Daniel Huerta. And I attend Ron College Prep. Hi, uh, I'm Jack Stern, and I also attend Ron College Prep. I'm Tatiana Cuevas, and I also attend Ron College Prep. And I'm really Maya, I'm the weird one, and I attend Yodo High School. <laughs> and we are Yodo E. You want to drink once, eventually. And we are here to talk to you about our efforts to support freshwater conservation. Our population is 7 million, and it's growing. The problem with this is that our fresh water supply is shrinking. A little known fact, humans can only live three days without drinking fresh water. And us Chicagoans living next to Lake Michigan have a false sense of security towards how much water we have available and how much water we have to drink and use. As you probably know, only 70% of the earth is covered in water, but I bet you didn't know that less than 1% of that is actually usable because 97% of that is unusable due to the high salt content and less and 2% of that is inaccessible. So to educate ourselves about water conservation, we first took a field trip to the McCormick Bridge House and Chicago River Museum, where we learned about the reversal of the flow of the Chicago River, which you probably learned about in your trivia cards, and to um, and about how the rainwater drainage system mixed with the sewage system in the, in the city. Um, with the research that we took, we created the little pamphlets that you have on your table, and um, it pretty much shows our concerns as well as what we what we plan to do as a group to help with the water conservation project. We also attend LGP workshops where we learned about project man management and how to work together as a team. And um, finally, we Im implemented our ideas to the community to the Pulaski International School of Chicago, which Daniel Hurtis actually graduated from. So as a group, we had um, uh, three goals. So the first one was fun, hands-on projects for the fifth through eighth graders that we were working with. And basically through this uh, fun, hands-on project, we wanted to educate them about freshwater crisis which we did so in a little presentation we gave to them about ourselves and what we did. And we also wanted to leave a mark in the community and hope that word would expand. <clears throat> so what a rainwater basin does? It basically collects water from rooftops, gutters, or open air. It prevents overloading sewer systems with clean water that we can use ourselves. It provides water for gardens, and at the school of Pulaski, they had a small kitchen garden, so we hope that they could use a rain basin we gave to uh, help them with the garden. Also, if it's publicly showcased, it will spark conversation. Also, we let the students paint it as part of our fun hands-on project, which promoted school pride. Some of the things we had to do was contact the school. We contacted two schools, but we ended up with Pulaski only. We did a site visit, and, and a little spot you see in the picture that actually shows the place where the basin is going to be put outside. Um, we actually also set up a project date, and in the meantime, we ordered the products that children were going to use to paint the basin with. Um, on the day of the event, we had all the other members present, so that was a great success. We worked with 10 um, kids in the middle school. Um, this picture shows the students with their artistic talents painting the basin. This is the finished product. They're going to be putting it out soon because the spring showers are coming. Here. <laughs> Our challenges were scheduling the meetings. We all had very busy schedules, so we had to work around that, and we actually did uh, weekly meetings, and we, we met up in the weekends when people were not as busy with school and other projects. And also, um, as we know, Chicago's weather is very bipolar, so we had uh, <laughs> rain, cold, and snow, and to counterattack that, we did the implementation, for, and actually the painting of the basin inside of the school. So future endeavors, what we would like to do, you know, is a <clears throat> water filtration project at Pulaski come May 2014. And this is basically a sample project to teach students about how water technology works to filtrate our water so we can drink it. Also, as a group, we created a pre and post uh, test, I guess you could say, to determine what the students learned uh, 
during the water filtration project. We would also like to pass on the thought of Yodoli to rising juniors. We would also like to expand our reach to a larger community, and in doing so, we would like to create a Yodel type, uh, uh, prototype for Yodoli to further implement at more schools. And none of this would have been possible without our freshman mentor, Becca Water Lou, Ross Ludwig, <laughs> Connie Ma, Mars Bonds, Me Megan Messina, Jesse Pasino, Kathy Reed, Jose Ibaja, the IIT Monks staff, and supporters. Thank you.